Hey, it's me again, Tina. Okay, so I know I was in such a rush to not make that last video that I just did so long that I left out a few key points that I thought were extremely important to bring up. Now, this is only going to take a few moments. Now, when we were talking about body shaming, I ran across a, a, a tweet or an article, well, both, uh, where Jason Momoa, who we all know as Aquaman and among other things, who's a fabulous guy, married to Lisa Bonet, they have a child together, and um, is usually in like, you know, the greatest shape ever, you know, muscle-wise and stuff, um, apparently got body shamed when he was taking a picture and he had a baby tiny gut. And I saw the tweets that went with that. It was like a very tiny little gut. I mean, well, he didn't have his normal six pack or whatever. He's a dad, he's a husband. Yeah, so he's an actor too. That's his profession and whatever else he chooses to do. But the, the you know, this is why I have such a love hate relationship with people and, uh, and celebrities uh, because you all, a lot of y'all, not all y'all, Plus me, I'm never one to generalize or stereotype, but the point I'm trying to make is why on God's green earth would you go and start body shaming Jason Momoa for having a little gut because maybe he's taking a break from movies and he's enjoying himself with his family and uh, his new baby or whatever, his little girl or, or whatever. Um, I don't know all the details about his family, just very few details, but... Uh, I saw that and I thought, what the hell? And then I've seen other tweets where celebrities have been, um, you know, criticized for looking real. You know, I mean, are you all really that dumb that you don't realize that a lot of these celebrities are being done up by professionals and that they are... Um, you know, professional makeup artists are doing them and, and that they too are human beings with feelings and emotions. And just because they choose acting or performing or whatever they do as a celebrity that makes them a celebrity, that you have a right to disgrace them like anybody else. I mean, I've heard arguments on both sides say, well, you know, once you decide to become a celebrity, you lose all your privacy rights. That's the, that's the, that's the uh, give and take of being a celebrity. You're going to be famous and rich and we get to know everything about your life. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, that's too bad for you, celebrity. And if you don't like what we have to say, then we won't support, excuse me, support you anymore. Hiccups. So anyway, that's crap. That is such shit. I mean, why would you do such a thing to a human being? I know some of these celebrities are um, not the nicest people in the world. Some of them may be like that because of the industry. Some of them may be that way because that's how they were born. They're just spoiled brats. Um, but you don't know the backstory of everybody. So quit trying to act like you do just because of what you see in the news or on these reality shows and whatnot. And I'm the first, I'll be the first to say that I can be judgy about, you know, those housewives shows, but I know a lot of it's scripted. So it's not like I hate these people. I just don't choose to participate in watching those particular um, shows, but my sister is addicted, as are many other people, and that's fine. It's just not for me, that's all, but I'm not going to hate on somebody because, you know, they don't look or, or behave or live a way that I think they should. I think that's stupid, you guys. Come on. And, and I've also seen where you all have body shamed people or shamed celebrities for, um, uh, showing stretch marks or their post bodies after having babies. Some of you have celebrated them. Thank you for that. But I've also seen where a lot of you have, you know, you know, put them down and judged them and forgetting the fact that these are live human be beings who, you know, bleed red, just like you do. I don't care what culture you come from or what you claim to be or whatever. They are human beings too, you know? So stop shaming each other. Stop judging each other. Start loving each other more and embracing the beauty of the difference of this world. 
And you know, I know this kind of sounds hippie-ish, but hell, I was raised around hippies in Santa Cruz, California. So North, all of Northern California, actually. And I embraced a lot of that hippie mentality, although I didn't always live it. And, and of course, that's just the diversity of my background. But, you know, this isn't about me. This is about y'all, you know, learning how to um, love each other more. And I'm not saying, oh, I gotta hug them and love them and say I love you, no. And I'm not saying just putting up with someone and then behind their back stabbing them 50 million times. I'm saying just try to be have a true open heart to difference and diversity and quit judging the celebrities for being people. I mean, Jesus Christ. When I saw that Jason Momoa thing, I was like, get the hell out of here. Are you kidding me? And I've seen that with women, too, where you all are judging these women when they don't have their makeup on or like I know I remember seeing one a long time ago about Oprah you know she didn't have her makeup on and she had come out of a gym and people were shaming her or they shamed Janet Jackson when she gained all that weight and so I'm sure poor Janet who's been in the uh, spotlight since she was a child I remember her from good times Janet yeah I'm part of that era too girl and y'all shamed her for being and she's a tiny thing and y'all shamed her for gaining weight you know, she looks fabulous no matter if she's skinny or bad and she's talented as all shit. So just leave her alone. And in, in all these reality TV stars, you know, I mean, honestly, a lot of y'all put yourselves in the position to get, you know, um, uh, I don't want to say judged, but I guess judged. But you don't deserve the harshness. You None of you celebrities deserve the harshness of the paparazzi of the fans who follow you on your on your social media pages um you all don't deserve any of that so i on behalf of the human race i apologize for that and i hope that you all will continue to be positive reinforcements especially to our young people who are struggling with their identities and who they are and where they're going in this world and the kind of person they want to be and how they want to relay themselves to others and and share that with their offspring whether they're adopted or um birthed by them you know whatever um so be good role example be good example i've seen some of your comebacks you celebrities uh some of your uh sarcastic comebacks to people who've tried to judge you and shame you and some of you all are so funny i mean I, I was sitting there going to myself alone watching this going you go girl or you go boy or whatever you know because i was just so proud of the way you handle these situations i mean y'all are always getting negative press negative reactions people are judging your lifestyles and stuff because you're in the public eye all the time and uh I love to see those comebacks and I know sometimes it's hard to be comedic or to turn the other cheek or whatever because you get it so much and you lack that privacy that you so desire and you have to pay for that privacy now because you're so famous or whatever but I like that a lot of you have continued to be positive examples and have shown your stretch marks and your scars and yourself without makeup and your hair pulled up and messy and you're in sweats and you're bare feet and you're you're looking like everybody else because you are everybody else you just happen to have a profession that may pay you more <laughs> more than likely and uh put you in the public eye so you all keep up the good work and as for you all that are shaming our celebrities shame on you and yes they do have a right to privacy thank y'all bye yeah, have a good one and again as always god bless